Before we're ready to dive into any sort of 3D software, we first need to understand a few basic concepts about CG. For those of you who are more experienced, we'll keep this short and fun to watch. However, for those of you who are new to Cinema 4D or any 3D application for that matter, this stuff is absolutely crucial. So let's get to it. Let's start first by going over the main differences between 2D work environments and 3D ones. This is a coordinate system and is represented by two axes, X and Y. The number of axes represents the number of dimensions. In this case, the environment is two dimensional. Any point within this space will have two values. This one is x4 and y5. If we change these values, we can move the point anywhere we want inside the 2D space. If we add a new z-axis to our coordinate system, the environment becomes three-dimensional. Now, our points will have three values instead of two, and the space will also be able to project depth. In 3D software, points are also known as vertices and can be connected through lines or edges. If we connect three vertices together, we can make a polygon. This is a triangle and it represents the fundamental building block of all 3D models and images. By connecting four points together, we can make a quad. This is also called a polygon, but connecting any more than four points will result in an n-gon. Behind the scenes, quads and n-gons are also made of triangles, but the computer simply groups them together and ignores the extra edges. Modeling in 3D software is done by manipulating these three main elements. Points, edges, and polygons, or faces. All polygons have a special property called a normal, which represents the direction they're facing. This allows the computer to calculate how light bounces off the polygon's face and in what direction. Normals also help the computer calculate the shading of an object. This sphere is flat shaded and is made up of 288 polygons. By using the normal information, the computer can interpolate the shading around the edges and turn this sharp disco ball into a smooth looking sphere. Alright, that's enough of this lesson. Next up, primitives and shading. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you guys there.